us know about the effects of drinking while fatigued, but uh, what about day-to-day -day distractions? Yes. The RAC conducted a range of tests on driver attention levels, including eating and drinking whilst driving and noisy passengers in the back seat. But they found the number one distraction for drivers was the mobile phones, smartphones, dropping attention levels to 43%. Now, researchers were able to measure this with special equipment, a car powered by the driver's attention. Yeah, that's pretty special. And for more on these unique tests, we're joined by Tony Pickworth, who's the Executive General Manager of the RAC in Perth. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Now, we can see you there. Behind us, you've got that car. Tell us, how did the yep. experiment actually come about? Well, I mean, as you, as you pointed out earlier, distraction is one of the major um, causes of, of uh, road fatalities in Australia. And in fact, in, in two, 2012, um, research that was conducted showed that distraction or inattention contributed to about half of those fatalities. So we wanted uh, a mechanism to really draw attention to, the, to this really major issue, and we came up with the RAC's attention-powered car. And what did the tests show? Well, the test showed a number of things. Um, so, the, so the vehicle works by, uh, we have a, a, a neuro headset that's connected to some custom software. And what the headset and the software do is they detect states of, of uh, inattention or distraction. Uh, and then we have that connected to the vehicle. And whilst we're driving along, as soon as you lose attention, the, the vehicle slows. So what the, what the test showed, we ran a variety of tests from making phone calls to drinking coffee to having noisy people sitting next to you and, 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 and to checking your Facebook status. And we did that in a controlled track environment. Uh, and it was really quite disturbing. I mean, one, one of the disturbing factors was that people lose attention about once every minute, which is a bit of a concern. But when you mix it with social media, I mean, they're, they're dropping out, nearly half their attention goes. So it was really quite scary and, uh, you know, we have other research that shows 17 to 19 year olds are admitting like one in five are saying they're checking social media all the time while they're driving. So we, we think it's a major issue. Yeah, it is a major issue. We're seeing that more and more. What do you think are some of the actual practical applications of this? Do you think major car companies might be interested in adapting this somehow? Well, it's interesting, you know, this wasn't developed uh, to, to, to be, you know, input in, into mm. cars as a permanent feature. But, you know, the, the car manufacturers around the world are, are really working busily on, on improved safety. And you've got one extreme, you know, in the, in the States and, and in Europe, they're trialling driverless cars. Uh, Anti-collision technology is becoming, you know, mainstream these days in, in vehicles. So this was really about trying to draw attention to this really important issue of, you know, let's do something about it while we can. And, you know, there's, there's, there's far too many deaths on Australian roads. And this is something that, as individuals, we can do something about. Tony, really good point. In regards to your test results, you said that mobile phones were top of the list. What were some of the other yeah. serious distractions? Um, ha having a distracting passenger, so <laughs> having lots of noise in the vehicle was a, was a real problem. Um, eating and drinking, eating, you know, drinking a coffee or eating, a, <laughs> eating as you're driving is, is distracting. You're thinking about you know, your hands are engaged uh, doing something else other than uh, focusing on the vehicle. Um, and, and just generally uh, not focusing on the road, yeah, not, not focusing on the task at hand. Mate, just finally before you go, we know the risks and dangers of texting and talking on the phone while driving, but the message doesn't seem to be getting through to a lot of young people. What would you say to them if they're watching right now? Well, look, our, our advice for people is just turn your phone off. I mean, you can, you know, most journeys are sort of half an hour or so around the city. So to turn your phone off, you can wait. Your Facebook status isn't that important. It can wait till you stop. Um, you know, if there's distraction in the vehicle, uh, control that. If there's, if there's noise around you, um, don't, don't, don't drink in a, or don't drink coffees or, 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 you know, eat hamburgers or, you know, focus on the job of driving the vehicle. Um, because at the end of the day, none of those distracting things are worth doing it. It's, your life is the most important thing and, and the lives of other people on the road. Yeah, very, very important message. Tony, it's a great innovation and we thank you for your time. Thank you very much. I'm pretty attentive on the road, but to be brutally honest, sometimes I will drive for about 10, 15 minutes and then I'll be like, where am I going? Yes. Or I'm like, how, how was I just driving a car for the last 10 minutes? You I'm know? just so distracted. And you, you are on autopilot so often when you're behind the wheel. I think it's just an important reminder that you've got to stay conscious, you've got to stay present when you're behind an automobile because, you know, you, you can actually ruin someone's life. Absolutely.